Hi and uh, welcome to VA Classic Cameras YouTube channel uh, and today we're going to be looking at loading 70mm film into the Hasselblad 70mm bag. So to do this um, you need these little cartridges or these little canisters. Um, Graflex, Linhoff, Hasselblad and Mamiya all use the 70mm system and they all have their own um, uh, their own canisters. Um, they are all made by Kodak Eastman. They were just repainted and renamed for specific brands. So if you want to get into the 70mm system, but you can't find a specific brand for your camera, it's fine. These cassettes will do. Uh, well, they work very, very well indeed. Um, so let's have a look at the cassette. Let's just pop that down there. So the cassette basically is just folded tin with uh, a felt seal where the film uh, comes out, or and this one is a take up so it goes in. And um, so we've got the felt here as well, just to make it light tight. So when you get these, just give the felt a once over, just to make sure that everything there is correct. So to take up spool and attaching the film, you will need this. And this is a little circle, and without it, it's not impossible to. Um, you could try tape, but to be perfectly honest, um, I'm not too sure whether that would have the strength to hold. So always make sure that the felt is in good condition and the circlip is present. Right, uh, so let's have a look at the back. So the back varies from the 120 back, not only in size, but also the way it's uh, orientated or structured. So it's still the classic Hasselblad pull-through system, um, but it just has to accommodate the much larger cassettes than the 120 film. So. Um, Let's have a quick look at this one here. So this is a back that we've loaded already. Um, the film on this is expired, as is this one. Um, this came with a canister, so we thought we'd shoot it. We shot it up to 12 stops, but it, although we did get a very, very slight negative, it was still too dark to do anything with, certainly scan. So for all intents and purposes, this film is really just now in good for demonstrating. Um, right, so, um, the cassette. So the film, comes through here, wound here, and back round there. And you can see this by these two arrows here. And these are the locating nuts that or locating lugs. And what they do is they keep the uh, the cassettes in. So let's have a look at loading film onto these. So have you seen the orientation of the film? The time being. So we'll come round through here, through here, back round here, and then fit on to there. So very easy to load, providing you've got the circle in. So we we'll wrap the film on the take up spool, we take our circle in. And this film is about 70 years old, uh, and it's been called up probably for most of its life. Um, it's quite tricky actually to get it to go in any other orientation than what it's been in. Anyway, that's on there now. So, we will then slot this into here. All we're doing is basically slotting the film into the canister and making sure it's not trapped anywhere. So to put the lid on, you just need to press that together and make sure that's still not there and then pop the lid of the canister on. So when the lid of the canister is in place, it's quite tricky. Like so. You've now got your main film spool and your take-up film spool, and these are now light tight. So let's put these into the film back. So with all Hasselblads, whether they're 120 or 70 mil, they have these um, on the 120s there at the ends, basically just for locating the spools. And also you've got the pressure plate, so you will need to make sure that the film goes under the uh, under the plate, the plate holder. So first spool goes in there like so, that just clips down like so, and then where the perforations are, we have to line the perforations up there. Turn this up to there like so, and we make sure that film goes under the tension plate or the pressure plate, back around, clips into place, and those clips down. So, same as before, 
This is what our film looks like now. It's in our holder. Let's put it in the back. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, for this purpose, we just remove the dark slide so we can see what we're doing. Now inside, this is the tricky part. Sometimes to wind on, I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. You have to make sure this little crucifix lines up with these little crucif all these uh, take ups there. Um, when I first did this, um, I couldn't quite get it to line up properly, so hopefully we'll have more luck this time. So, the cassettes go at the back, film plane at the front. So that goes in like so. At this point we'll take this down, stop that in, and hopefully, there we go. So now we can see the film taking out the whole of the, uh, the back. Um, so winding the film on, it's the same as pretty much every Hasselblad. On the older ones, we have this style. Um, these dots here represent about 10 images, I believe. And the cassettes can actually hold 5.4 meters of film, which leads you to another thing is how much do you shoot, how much do you load? Because loading onto the spiral again at the other end in the developing process, that can be uh, that can be challenging, but we'll come on to that in a minute. So now we've got our film in, we can feel it start to tension up. We're just going to start running that through, and now you can see the zero starting to move where it's winding it on, and that's now coming into position there. Now we're loaded. I believe we're loaded. We're loaded. Although it's showing that we're not loaded, but I believe we are certainly loaded. Um, right, so let's pop the dark slide back in. This is our back fully loaded. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope that's been uh, helpful.